hello and welcome back to the vlogs we are doing um a few days of my life vlog maybe like a week vlog i don't know i'm just gonna decide later so i'm about to leave to head for my microneedling facial appointment it's actually called the miracle cocktail at the clinica yeah i just got a quick little fit on just an anina bang t-shirt some um, Lulu joggers. I'm just gonna put on some sneakers and then we are going to head on over to the Clinica, which is actually pretty decently close. So, all right, we'll see you there. from the microneedling treatment. I got caught in the rain, so I'm completely soaked. I have to change because I'm freezing. And my face looks crazy. Um, it's very splotchy and red right now, but I think it's actually maybe getting a little bit better. That's what my husband said, so we'll see. Anyways, this is just actually less than an hour. They said recovery for redness is improved with the exosome so hopefully by the two hour mark i'll look normal okay so we're about an hour in most of the redness is gone but it's still like pretty splotchy it's better though it's it's like little bruises almost yeah like you'll see it no you can you can see it there can see it but yeah it's better than what it was when i first came now home. it's not just blanket red it's just red at the sites i think yeah it's way better though my lips are still numb so it's about like two hours since my last check-in we got back from the mall my skin looks relatively normal now it feels actually really like smooth so that's great i'm excited to see i will expect results in like one and a half weeks like optimal results um Anyways, a couple of things. I did go to Zara. I picked up the things that I wanted. Two, I have to ship this box of um, supplies, decor to the bachelorette planning service. I'm in Miami batch today before five o'clock because that's when UPS um, pickup time is. So I'm going to pay, I think, for UPS overnight. If I were to ship tomorrow, which is Thursday, it wouldn't actually make it till I think next Tuesday because we have the long weekend for Easter weekend. So I need to make sure that I get this packed, done, everything verified and sent over to UPS. So thankfully that's pretty close to the house. I'm gonna show you quickly what we're working with and I have to make a little like note or instruction card for um, this box. Okay, so let's go. We have our bachelorette bags. I've got the um, bachelorette itineraries all done and printed out. They are so nice. I'm actually gonna keep one because we have some extra. So it says, it's Ashley's Bachelorette, Miami, Florida. I created these in Canva. And then the back is our itinerary. I put Ashley's batch here. Cute picture of a boat. So that is what the front and back, back looks like. And then I also did theme cards um i'm kind of upset that this got cut off here but that's fine so we've got our double-sided theme card so we have night one glitz and glam i put sequins glitter champagne feathers metallic and we are going to marry on and then the next day is friday shopping and lunch at swan vov before vows shades of pink the vov orange champagne sun hats white accessories 
and then on the back we have Bond Girl, which is our Saturday yacht day. Did I spell that wrong? Yacht's one of those like silly words, and I'm like, did I fucking spell that wrong? Okay, thank God I spelled it right. I was like, did I spell yacht wrong on this card? So silk, pearls, minimal jewelry, black and white, yacht day, martini, champagne, sexy yet classy. And then we have bright and white, party in black at the bottom, and we are going to um, Il Molino. And I didn't put any description here because it's self-explanatory. So that is what we have. I've got, I'm gonna do four cards, one for everybody, four itineraries. I have the um veil this is from exo fetti our cute little drink stuff so groom's face we've got this bond theme time to marry um and then i just need to get the straws i bought some metallic straws the bride crown so we have a white and pink one our love theme stir sticks and then these stir sticks that say ashes thatch our martini themed stuff and then i just need to fix these bags that say mammy florida pool and social club so here it is all stuffed and i'm just going to Put the instructions on top okay friends i'm back from the post office i just dropped off the package i did like two day shipping i think so it should get there by friday that was pricey so so pricey it was 127 dollars to ship to the states and i think it's because it's a holiday but the thing is is that they said i could pay for delivery on tuesday for 40 dollars, even though the bachelorette's on thursday and i was like but she's like there's customs but yeah, she was like, well, there's customs, so that could take like an extra two days, so it might not get there on time. And I was like, okay, I didn't spend all that money and all that time preparing this bachelorette, like goodie bags and all that jazz for it not to get up there on time. So I was like, you know what? Like at the end of the day, what is $127 if the items don't even get there? Like this is gonna make her bachelorette, I think very special. I put a lot of time and effort into making these things and making it feel super unique super special i love making people feel special like gift giving is my it is my niche it is my love language it's my favorite thing in the world um so yeah anyways um i have a little zara haul to share with you all um mostly just accessories for the bachelorette and just like life so i got i saw this on tiktok these little rosettes and i'm sure you've been seeing all over just like clothing in general rosettes are so big and it's so funny because my husband actually for christmas bought me the um camellia brooch from chanel and it's a vintage find it's super gorgeous and i love it but i've been seeing these like super oversized rosettes on everything and why not get yourself these little clip-on rosettes so you can literally change any outfit so it's got like the brooch and then the clip so like i literally can just like clip it on and then it's like a rosette so i got it in white because i think white would be a nice like pop of color on something black but i also got um i also got it in black as well because I feel like this would just elevate an outfit without, you know, buying anything with a rosette on it. Because, like, let's say you have a really cute basic top, but then in, like, a few months, this might be out of style. And so you're like, nah, I'm never going to wear that rosette top again. You have these. It's really ingenious. And they were, like, $18 each, $17.90, which I feel like is, I don't know, maybe kind of pricey for an accessory, but they're just, like, giving. So yeah, I got the white and the black. They are like, the black is sold out online. Like you can't find it. The white, there was only a few left and they were at the mall. So I went there and then I also got this, which is a neck scarf. And I thought this was really cute. And then I got this cute little like checkered sun hat. It's like a bucket hat, but it's like a raffia. Okay, my hair is terrible because I've had it in this braided pony all day and 
it also um, rained, so my hair is like permanently. Oh, oh God. Anyways, I'm just doing this so we can see what this hat looks like. Okay. This is probably not cute. I don't, I can't like see anything. Okay, wait. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if I like this. You can't even see my face. I think my head's too small for this. It's like really deep, like, I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like it's a no. It was $35. I feel like she might need to go back. I'm gonna ask my husband about this. Maybe with a cute outfit. I think maybe I need to style it. So we will do that. Tomorrow, I'm going to try and dye two of my white bridal dresses to black. And I'll take you on that journey because I feel like it's gonna be a journey and I may or may not ruin those dresses doing this process but my options for those dresses are never wear them again and just hoard them in my closet which I do with a lot of clothes because I'm very sentimental or I sell them which I feel like I can never do I want to like give them a new life so I feel like dyeing them black I'm always gonna wear black so I feel like that's smart I think it's a really good idea my only concern is that it doesn't turn out like they look terrible or whatever so like I just do a botched job. So that's my only concern, but we'll see. They're not cheap dresses. Like the dresses I'm planning on dyeing are from The Bar and from Elliot, Elliot. They're both from Evolve. And the dresses were like, I think one was like five or $600 and the other one, it was about like three or $400. So they're, they're pricey dresses. I like kind of spent money on these bridal dresses but I don't really want to get rid of them. But I also don't think I'm ever going to wear them again. So I'm very like, I don't know. We'll see. By the time I post this video, I'm going to have done it or not done it. So it's not like you guys can give me input. We'll see. Okay, bye. Well, I did the same here because then it like, you see it. Time to dress, dress, dye the dress. And I can't get your face. Okay, just bring, bring it close. We'll just show the it dipping, ready? <laughs> oh my God, there's no turning back now. It's okay. Is it enough water? Yeah. Oh, shit. Bubbles to bubbles to bubbles. <laughs> That's not bad. Okay, where's the other sleeve? Apparently, it's like wet fabric always looks darker. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, it looks good. Okay. All right, you can stop recording. <laughs> All right, friends, we are home from my friend's house where we dyed the dresses. So I dyed two dresses. One was my bridal shower dress and the other one was my like second wedding reception look, which is like the late night party look. And my theory was that Okay, so it actually all stemmed with this one dress that I wore to my bridal shower. And I'll put a picture here of what it looked like. Super, super cute. And I'm going on a bachelorette and I was like, I need a black dress for the um, bride and white party and black theme. And I really wanted something like fancy, but I felt super comfortable in. And I absolutely loved the bridal shower dress. And I remembered that it came in black. So I scoured the internet trying to look for the black version, but it sold out everywhere except for like Saks Fifth Avenue, which was like $400 and I wasn't sure what it was going to come. So what I decided to do was dye it because I was never going to wear that white dress again. It's very like formal and there's not like a lot of places that I would wear a white dress to. Like I wouldn't wear it obviously to a bridal shower. I wouldn't wear it to like even a baby shower, I don't think so. 
yeah, I just decided let's dye it black because then it's like a great cocktail dress. And I was really nervous that it wasn't gonna turn out because I could have either kept it white, hoarded it in my closet, sold it or dyed it and just hope for the best. So that's what we did. And then I also dyed my reception dress too because I was like, this is a really cute dress. Again, I'm never gonna wear it again in white. Do I keep it or do I try and give it a new life? In the rare case, sorry, I shouldn't say rare. In a common case that it could go terribly wrong and I could ruin the dress. So anyways, I popped it in the wash and um, I'm doing a cold cycle and we'll see. What the heck is that? I feel like there's like poop on our outdoor chair. I don't know, but it's sunny outside. I think I'm gonna have like a little like spritzer. And yeah, so let's, I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's out of the wash and dried. Okay, so the dresses are out of the wash. I put them on a gentle cold cycle and I just hung them to dry. So first we have the bar dress, which is 100% silk. Um, so if you can see the stitching, did not die, I don't know why. Um, it looks pretty good. I can't tell if that is like an inconsistency or not. This dress, however, which is mostly made out of polyester, kind of turned more into a gray. Like, I don't know if you can see the difference. And what's interesting is the sleeves are a different fabric than the bodice and the sleeves are a slightly different color. So yeah, you can see that the sleeves are a different color than the bodice here. They're like more purpley. So I think this one, it needs to run through another dye cycle. And then this one looks pretty good. I think it needs a steam and then we'll try it on. Hello everyone and welcome back to the vlog. It is currently Tuesday, currently Tuesday. Um, and this is actually a continuation of the vlog that I started last week when I got my um, facial, the Miracle Cocktail, cocktail Facial. Um, so we are two days away from leaving for Miami. So Tuesday, um, I work tonight. Wednesday, I'm off work. We get a spray tan and then we leave Thursday, which is absolutely insane. So today I'm going to bring you along because I have three different appointments to go to. I'm going to get my like, I don't even know what you really call it. I need to ask Tanya. We're gonna go see Tanya. She's gonna do the like skin tightening, cellulite reducing um, therapy on the back of my legs just to help reduce cellulite there. So we're going to go see her and I'll ask her kind of like what the treatment exactly is called. And then we are getting a manicure and a pedicure. My nails right now are terrible. They're so grown out. Oh my God, they're doing something outside and it's so noisy. So my apologies. And then um, I think I'm gonna shape them more like oval and do a little design or a chrome. I'm not sure yet, but they're really bad. These are pre-Italy. Anyways, I better leave to go to um, my first appointment. You'll tag along. It's currently not sunny, but I'm hoping that the sunshine will come out because it's supposed to be a beautiful warm day today. So yeah, let's go. Like what is the, when I, people are like, oh, like what's the treatment called? Like not Venus Legacy, but like what is the actual therapy? Is it like skin tight? So it is, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's fat reduction with mm. skin tightening um, and body contouring all at the same time and cellulite. So you're all basically trying time. like skin tightening, cellulite reduction, fat reduction. And it contours at the same time. And contours. Yeah. If you want that, or you could just do skin tightening. Right. And we are, how many sessions in right now? This is our six? Yes, I believe so. Okay. I have to double check. And like eight to 10 is recommended. <laughs> yes. On average. On average, depending on what you're starting out with. Yeah. We've mostly been doing it weekly, but there was two sessions I missed. Once because I was working, two because I was still on a plane home from Italy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're finally getting back on track. And I think next week we did Tuesday. I actually don't remember. I have to look. Yeah, we'll look. For when you get back? Yeah. yeah. So, this is the machine. And we're going to do the fat one first. Yeah. The fat melting. Fat and cellulite. Because <laughs> the cellulite is just clumped up fat. 
Exactly. So this breaks it down, mm -hmm. and then you drink water and you flush it out. Beautiful. And then you do skin tightening so your skin doesn't get loose. Right. Amazing. Alrighty, it is currently Wednesday and I'm about to head out to get my spray tan and then I need to pack. I came off my night shift and I slept a little bit so um, I have not had time to pack. So we're really doing this last minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over downtown to get my spray tan at Toronto Tans, which I actually did all my wedding spray tans at, and then I'm going to come home and pack because that is long overdue. So let's go to spray tan. a bit too hard so back for a spray tan it was great i am just what's it called i want to say baking but i don't know what the term is i'm letting this develop um i forgot to show you my nails from yesterday so i'm going to show you what i got so let me just flip you around real quick there we go so i did these like rose gold chrome nails i'm only wearing my wedding band for the spray tan um, but I love the way they turned out. They're kind of like a peachy chrome glazed. Very Miami in my opinion. Okay, let's finally pack because it's getting late. So yeah. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna do toiletries. Move you. Like the sun is shining. So I have all my toiletries here. I actually have like way more than probably what I should, but we're gonna go through it. So here I have my skincare, which is all of my liquids. So this little bag right here, and in here, I've got all my liquids in here. My Elta MD UV Clear sunscreen is a must. This little um, hair mask this is the mini holy water, which I've dropped and cracked, but it's still intact. Dr. Barbara Stern Face Cream Rich. Body oil. Stay hydrated. This is the La Mer Treatment Lotion. Um, Lash and Brow Serum. The Hyaluronic Serum. And I've got the minis of my... Charlotte Tilbury which I love. So that is what's in here along with um, just some like face masks. Okay, now I'm gonna like fit that all back in. And other liquids I've got the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and okay I've got two foundation options I got the mini versions I have this already in full size I got the mini version it's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in shade 4 the only problem is that this is getting like impossible to close thankfully for makeup I'm obviously holy crap um, allowed powders without any limitations. So I'm bringing my Victoria Beckham bronzer. Um, for toiletries, I've had these little mini native deodorants. Um, my brand new Westman Atelier Contour Stick in Biscuit. My Kosas Concealer um, in the lighter shade. And I also... Oh, 
Charlotte Tilbury Mini Flawless Filter. And then I also have my Deeper Kosas Concealer. And I've got a few different pencils, lip pencils, like brow pencils, brow gel, mascara, eyelash curler, beauty blender, makeup palette I just picked up. It's the um, Artist Couture Supreme Nudes. Just hoping they don't look at this and like take this away from me. I need my makeup. Makeup is packed. Okay, so here's our bed situation. The first night we get in, it's a glitz and glam night. So I have this dress by Rotate. And I'm either going to wear the sparkly Mac and Max or my um, suede Jimmy Choo's. And then for bags, I've got this YSL clutch. Or I have this like vintage Chanel. I'm not sure. But bags, we have this one, this clutch, this like beachy bag, and then I have my like little Bottega Veneta dupe. And then the next day is like a Vogue theme. So I'm wearing this like silky dress and then maybe this one. So I have both of these packed and then just my black Hermes or er, Iran sandals. I feel like that will be good. Um, lounging by the pool, I just have this blue linen set. Um, I brought two belts, this belt and then my Celine Triumph belt. Um, airport outfit, I've got some leggings and a Nanina Bing t-shirt. Hat, I think I'm just going to bring this little bucket hat. Extras, I've got a black tank, a white tank some um, beige linen shorts. I'm also wearing some black linen pants that I'm gonna be bringing with us. Um, I have this knit dress for boat day. I've got this one piece um, and a sarong. I also have this cute little corset top and some beach like knit pants. Um, I also have this brown one piece and a brown dress just in case it's back up. This is the bottoms to um, some custom made swimwear that my friend made for me. So I'm just, I need to pick up the rest. I've got um, PJs, bras, sunglasses. That's just the box for my sandals. And I'm gonna be wearing my Saint Laurent court sneakers. So I just gotta make sure I have enough for outfit. So night airplane tomorrow change into this the next day let's say like hanging with my pjs change into this then we're having dinner at home if we go for drinks maybe i'll change into this one then the next day is uh boat day so i'll wear something like this and then at night what are we doing we're going to an italian restaurant and i'm wearing this little off the sleeve anina bing t-shirt tank and then these effortless pants from Aritzia and I have these flower accessories from Zara just in case and my Celine belt. So that's what I'm wearing with maybe one of these two shoes and then airport outfit on the way home I will have to figure out.